Hey y'all, this is Church from Church's Intake. We're going to get into Romans chapter 2, 1 through 16. It talks about the righteous judgment of God. A lot of these mockers, scoffers, and teachers, you know, some of your pastors, they think that they're not going to get their judgment, and it's coming right now as we speak. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgeth, for wherein thy judgeth another, thou condemneth thyself, for thy that judgeth doeth the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to the truth against them which commit such things. And thinketh thou, O, oh, thinketh thou this, O oh man, that judgeth them which do such things and doeth the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God, or despiseth thy the riches of his goodness and forbear, forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. But after they hardness and impenitent, impenitent heart treasureth up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will re render to every man according to his deeds to them who by patient continuance in well doing, seek the glory and honor of immorality, eternal life, but unto them that are continuous and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile, but the glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile, for there is no respect of persons with God. For as many have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law for not the heart, heart, hearters of the law, hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified for when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law these have not the law or a law in to themselves which show the work of the law written in their hearts their conscience also bearing witness in their thoughts that mean well accusing uh accusing or <clears throat> else accusing one another in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. God bless the reading of his word. So, um, yeah, I butchered that a little bit, but it's uh, Romans chapter 2, 1 through 16, and it's talking about judgment. A lot of these people just don't get the grasp of if you judge one another, you will be judged if you gossip about another person in secret or in, in out in the open you will be judged according to your deeds so slanderers mockers gossipers you know people that's wishing ill will against you in secret or doing things in secret you know these people will be judged and god's judgment is here now and a lot of these people, you can see them, you can see their faces, you can see their actions, that a lot of people are are confused about what's going on in their life. And what's going on in their life is they've been judging others, and now they're getting judged according to their deeds. 
So that's why God says, be good to one another, be peaceful, show love to one another, um, help lift one another. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out here that's saying that they for you and they, they out here to help lift you, but you can see in their deeds that they're not. They're just trying to get things from you. And you got to part ways from these type of people. You can't let these people be in your life anymore. And a lot of people don't even want to get that. Like when you set up barriers, you got certain people in your past that really believe like they can just do whatever they want, whenever they want and however they want. So when you set them boundaries and tell them, don't call me no more, leave me out of y'all mess. You know what I mean? They don't know how to take no for an answer. So you got to show them, you got to stop picking up their calls, stop listening to whatever they say, you know, disconnect from them, block them if you got to, if they don't get that. And you just got to block them out of your life. Like, yo, listen, I don't want you to come here. I don't need you here. You doing the deeds of the devil. And that's how you got to put them. Some some of these people got to be put in their place, man. Some of them don't want to be put in their place, but you got to put whoever, whenever, however, in their place. If it's your mom, if it's your dad, if it's your brothers, if it's your sisters, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Your aunts and uncles, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And God will tell you who. Who needs to stay away from you while you building you up to your, to your next level? Because all they dare is to do is stagnate you, block you, steal from you and whatever. And those are the, that's the work of the devil out here to block, stagnate and steal, kill, steal and destroy. Know the difference, man. Know who's with you and know who's not with you. You know who's with you. You know who's been in the trenches with you the whole time and who hasn't been in the trenches with you at all. You know who wants you to be waiting on them and, and asking them for help and such. And you ain't supposed to get that at this time. You, you need to do this on your own. Be more secretive. Don't be telling people about things. And they're going to get their judgment. Just like I know that there's secretive people on my 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 um my YouTube television, my YouTube uh my YouTube uh um TV. You know what I'm saying? I know there's people on my YouTube. You know what I mean? That that ain't supposed to be there. And it's like this, and they've been trying to stop and stagnate me from excelling to where I, my greatness, but I'm gonna keep it going, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just change up the wordplay, you know? And I know that these people be trying to use it in their churches and stuff like that, but it's all good, you know what I mean? Cause God's gonna just judge them. And all of them that's trying to stop and stagnate my channel, you know what I mean, my YouTube channel, it's just gonna stop them, you know what I mean? They're never gonna progress. They're always gonna be in condemnation and judgment and wrath, you know what I'm saying? Because they keep on messing with, with someone of God that's, that, that's just trying to get out the word, you know what I'm saying? So we, I'm gonna just keep on trying to preach the word of Christ, you know, get people to, uh, to, to Christ, you know, repentance, you know what I mean? Show love, be in love and, and show peace, you know what I mean? You gotta have that faith that God's gonna definitely render whoever needs to be out of your life, you know what I'm saying? And he's gonna give you righteous judgment on these people that's been blocking you, stagnating you, and, and causing you strife in your life, you know what I mean? These blockers, you know what I mean? A lot of people think that these people that, you know, you grew up with, or your friends or family members, these are the closest ones. And it's in the book of Matthew that tells you your enemy is the closest people to you, dog. You know what I mean? It could be your own kid. It could be your mom. It could be your dad. It could be your brothers, sisters and your wife it could be whoever but god's gonna show you who is who you know what i mean because if you did marry right you know what i mean obviously you know that's protected by god god loves a good union that's protected by him not a manipulated union and a lot of these people been manipulated in their own unions and they don't even know that you know what i'm saying so we just gonna keep it moving you know what i mean we just change it up to love and peace because everybody out here to still kill and destroy and god's going to kill them you know what I mean? Destroy them from their wicked ways and their wickedness. So I'm going to tell them to repent right now and get off my my YouTube channel if you were one of those ones that's trying to block me and stagnate me because it's going to happen anyway. And then you're just going to be the one going to condemnation, going to get suffering and more suffering. So I'm trying to help y'all out now. Get off my channel if you ain't supposed to be on my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that one right there. This is Church from Church's Intake. All the real subscribers, God bring them to me. God bless. You know what I mean? There's one that really want to be out here trying to give y'all the real truth and enlighten y'all about what y'all need to know about God and getting a relationship with Christ. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to Church's Intake if God brings you to my channel by God's will. The rest of y'all that ain't supposed to be on my channel, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get off my channel. God bless y'all.